What is up everybody and welcome to today's video. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I know that I am super excited to be able to share this video with you guys. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Zach, this is SC Fish Keeping, and behind me here is my 1200 gallon indoor pool pond, which does have a fish, but uh, we're gonna save that one for another video. Today's video, um, I've heard rumors about this fish. I've heard rumors that if you get enough of them, they school. You, you buy a bunch and then they hang out together basically and this is a very big fish It's a very common fish something that many of us have had and are all over YouTube It's actually something that when I first got serious into fish keeping I bought one of these fish and I put it in a 55 gallon aquarium So yeah, so uh, today we're gonna go buy some Oscars and uh the goal is to find a group of these Oscars, put them in a, an aquarium, see if we can get them to school, grow them out, and eventually do something really, really awesome with them. Um, but I chose the location of where we're going to buy these fish very, very carefully, and it's somewhere that you guys know. It's somewhere that you guys love. It would help if I unlock my truck. Um, but yeah, somewhere you guys know, and I'm going to tell you why exactly we chose this place. Once we get there, let's go. Petco. So a place that I'm sure a ton of you have bought fish from before. Um, I've made videos on them and that's actually the reason that uh, I chose this place, which I'll get into that here in a little bit. But uh, right now we're gonna go in, we'll look at some fish and uh, we're gonna see if uh, they have enough Oscars for us to make an appropriate size school. So uh, let's go inside. Make that uh, PetSmart because uh, Petco actually didn't have any Oscars. Um, it is now 8.44 and they close in 16 minutes and I hate the, that I'm being that guy, especially as I'm talking here. So uh, let's run inside really quick um, and while I run in, let me just jump ahead to a, like other me and explain why it's so important to me to make this video by buying these Oscars from a box store and uh, then we'll come back and go inside and actually get the fish so let's go so a little over two months ago I posted this video here with the title Petco should not be selling this fish well in the two months it has done 92,000 views which is by far my most viewed video which is awesome but the thing that I do really appreciate is it led to some great conversation on the topic of big box stores, what fish they should sell, all that kind of stuff. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link up above, but spoiler alert, uh, I went out and I bought these four little Fajaca puffers. Um, they were super tiny. I said that I rescued them. A lot of other people felt that I just bought them, didn't rescue them. I'm not really gonna go into that back and forth. But the reason I bring this up and, and how it relates to the video today on the Oscars is a lot of people took that video as me saying never buy anything from the big box stores and that wasn't the intention if that's how it came across that's my fault the reason i wanted to make this video today and the reason it's important for me to buy these oscars from these big box stores is to just kind of clear up my stance on buying from places like petco and petsmart i definitely think it's great a lot of them are better than others you're going to find that in local fish stores as well so I don't bash the big stores. Uh, I think that we should all support them. Um, the reason I'm making this video today, the reason that I'm going out and buying Oscars from this PetSmart is to show that you can get some really amazing fish and work with some awesome people from these bi these big box stores. So that's my rant. That's my kind of clarification on the last video, but uh, let's get back and look at some of the fish at this PetSmart. So I kind of explained why I want 
to uh, specifically get these fish from a, uh, a box store, a, a Petco, a PetSmart. And uh, this PetSmart actually does have five of these uh, Oscars. So uh, I probably will end up getting one more just to make a school of six. But uh, one of the things that people said in the comments of the uh, that Fajaka video was that the, the people at these stores don't know what they're talking about. Well, um, I asked the gal that's helping me and she said she didn't want to be on camera. But uh, one of the things she did say is that uh, she wanted me to make sure that I knew that these Oscars need about 50, 55 gallons per fish by the time they, they grow a little bit. Um, and she said she just wanted to make sure that I was aware of that because so many people buy these fish, don't realize how big they get, and then uh, try and return them when they're, you know, giant. So I definitely appreciate her help. She's grabbing these uh, fish for me now, so we'll uh, check them out when they're all boxed up, and then we'll take them home. All right, so we got the fish there in the cart. Um, one other thing that I need to do for this aquarium is uh, just buy some plants, and uh, I like that they do these value packs. So you can get some of these tall ones for about 20 bucks, which, yeah, that's about right. So we'll grab one of those. Two hours later. Let's get a couple of these little, I'm gonna drop them, these little mini green things for like two bucks so it should be it because I don't think I need a pirate ship but uh, let's pay and we'll get our new uh, school home All right. got our new babies got our plants and uh, I was out of dog food, so dog food. So let's drive home and uh, we'll get these guys in their new tank. All right, so as you can tell, we're back home and I have this pretty bare bones 55 gallon behind me. The new Oscars are in there acclimating. Now, before you run down to the comments, I did say 55 gallon. And if you remember what uh, I said back at the store, she wanted me to make sure that I knew that these Oscars need about 50, 55 gallons per fish. Then you would know that a 55 gallon is uh, big enough for one Oscar, but uh, I'm about to drop in five. So while they acclimate, I wanna run downstairs, give you a couple quick updates and tell you what uh, my plans are for these guys with a kind of a quick fish room update. So uh, let's do that while they acclimate and then we'll get those plants in there. So the plans with these Oscars is they're gonna grow out in that 55 until they put on a little bit more size. And then I'm going to replicate this pool right here. That, that 150 will be going out into the other room. And we are going to do a tropical pond. And I'm thinking Oscar school, silver arowana, some catfish, just like an Amazon themed pool pond right here. So for all the people that say, you know, you can't put five Oscars in a tank. Don't worry, they're not gonna be in the tank for long. They will grow to uh, a few more inches and then have their own Oscar pool pond. So uh, let me know down in the comments if you're excited for that project because I know I am. <laughs> so, Scape's not gonna win any awards, but uh, you know, for a couple fake plants, and uh, a few rocks that I just had laying around. You know, I'm pretty happy with it and it's gonna work great for these Oscars. Oscars are one fish that uh, even with fake plants, they always tear them up for me. So uh, I'm not too worried once they get bigger, they're gonna move all this stuff around, but uh, they've been acclimating long enough, so let's go ahead and drop them in. So immediately after dropping them in, they're doing exactly what I was uh, most curious about. And I know the tank's dirty. I did a big water change before putting them in and stuff, and so I stirred all that sand up, so don't mind that. But uh, 
Oscars are super moody fish. So if you ever had an Oscar or know someone that did, anytime you move them to a new tank or change their stuff around, they're usually gonna lay on the bottom and pout. They actually lay on their side like a like an infant and pout, it's crazy. But uh, so to drop five of these fish in uh, from two different tanks and have them instantly group up and just stay together and start exploring the tank, that's Oscar behavior I've never seen. So, uh, so far we're getting the school. So I'm gonna let the tank kind of settle down. Uh, it'll clear up, let them kind of settle in, and then uh, we'll check on them here in a few hours. But uh, so far this is exactly what I wanted to see, and I'm loving it. Two hours later. So a couple hours later, they all still seem to be doing great. They're uh, all still kind of just grouped up in that little corner. Like I said, they're very moody fish, so it's not surprising to see them just kind of hanging out, a little nervous, a little shy, but uh, let's go ahead and shut this off. We will just go ahead and let them rest, relax, and kind of get settled into that tank. Uh, so before I wrap this video up, I hope you guys have a little bit better understanding of uh, my stance on big box stores and whether you should or should not buy from them. I'm super excited to watch these Oscars grow out. Um, I've seen Oscars grow out as I look at my uh, massive Oscar moose that I showed you before, but I've never watched them do it in a school. So hopefully that's something that you guys can look forward to as well. Um, but yeah, for now. Thanks for watching this one. If you have not already, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you if you are. And until the next video, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. See you soon. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>